dark skies over Wimbledon Greyhound Stadium and the future doesn't appear any brighter as the track gets ready to stage its final race this summer. Sadly, I think originally there were 33 stadia across London and we're down to the one. We offer good, wholesome, family fun. And, you know, what a sad day when we lose that in London. The venue is due to be demolished as AFC Wimbledon prepare to move in with planning permission approved for a new stadium. The Greyhound Board of Great Britain are unhappy. This is a blow to the entire sport. To think there won't be a track left with a London postcode is a shock. GBGB will ensure the welfare of the Greyhounds involved at Wimbledon is not compromised as a result of the closure and we will work closely with local trainers to provide assistance where appropriate. Greyhound racing has occurred at Wimbledon since 1928 and has hosted the famous English Greyhound Derby since 1985. But the owners of the stadium, Galliard Homes, have not renewed the lease with the sports organisers and the stadium will now stage its final race on June the 18th. McLean says the stadium is in need of some care and attention. It's an old, old lady now and it needs a lot doing to it. They still get 1,000 to 1,500 people going. The venue hosts two Greyhound meetings a week and is also used for stock car racing. One driver has started a petition to try and keep the stadium open and it's had over 10,000 signatures online. I'm actually overwhelmed by the amount of support and um, the campaigning overall. I mean, Mum and Dad actually first met at Wimbledon Stadium on the Pit Bend Terrace in. Wimbledon Stadium, as the last stock car racing venue, is very important on a national significance and a national level. It would be a massive blow to the whole community and the whole sport. The Mayor of London, Boris Johnson, still needs to approve the plans for AFC Wimbledon's new stadium and the residential and commercial outlets that have also been put forward. So with no final decision made, Greyhound and stock car racing fans will hope the finish line isn't in sight for Wimbledon Stadium. Michael Redford, Sky Sports.